Howdy, AP Breakout. It's Ms. Kosh. We are continuing um, 310, Trigonomic Equations and Inequalities. Um, so there should already be a video that goes through what I have here. And now we're looking at 2 sine squared x plus sine x minus 1 equals 0. And I don't have enough space, so let's get that piece of paper I was using a minute ago. And here we go. Okay, so I have 2 sine squared x plus sine of x minus 1 equals 0, and I want to solve this. Well, um, if you don't know what to do at all, and you're totally clueless and totally confused, we can always do a u substitution. Not a me substitution, but a u substitution. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's so funny. Okay, uh, it's still funny 24 years in. Okay, so we could say let, sine, let u equal sine of x, and now I can rewrite this problem, and this becomes 2u squared plus u minus 1 equals 0. And now this is something I may be more comfortable with factoring. Um, so I have 2u and u multiplied to give me 2u squared. I have 1 and 1 that multiply to give me 1, but it has to be a negative 1. So let's see. I want the positive to be the bigger one and the negative one to go here. Um, the negative, yep. Yeah. So let's double check. 2u squared, yes. Here is a positive 2u and a negative u. So 2 minus 1 is 1u right here. And then that gives me a negative 1. And there we go. Um, but they didn't ask me to solve. Well, so you could, you could solve and say, okay, u equals a positive one-half or u equals a negative one, but they didn't ask me to solve for u. They asked me to sign, solve for x. x comes from this, um, let's get that clutter out of the way. x comes from sine of x. Well, anyway, to solve for x, we need to rewrite this as sine. We need to take out u again and put this back in. Okay, you don't have to jump to this point. If you see this and you think, oh, this factor is just two sine of x and then a sine of x. Um, I did not give myself enough space. We'll put the zero here. Um, and then a one and a one, and I can double check. Oh, this one needs to be the positive one. This one needs to be the negative one. And therefore, this means sine of x equals positive one. It's right here. And this gives me sine of x equals negative one. If that's what you, if you can go straight from here to here, more power to you. Don't let me stop you. But if you can't, then feel free to do the u substitution. Um, okay, so what did the directions say? Oh, they said solve on the interval, and they said find all values. Okay, so what I'm looking at here on my unit circle, when is sine 1 half? Here and here. When is sine negative 1? Here. So if they want, so this is pi over 6, this is 5 pi over 6. I'm only drawing the unit circle to help you see it. This, this should be in your head. You should be able to do... Go from here to your answer, um, just seeing the unit circle in your head. This is 3 pi over 2. Um, but for the sake of the video, there you go. So to answer the final question, can you see all my... Okay, <laughs> there's so much clutter. Um, okay, on the interval, so then x is equal to pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, and 3 pi over 2. Find all values. Okay, pi over 6 plus 2 pi k. 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi k, 3 pi over 2, plus, can you see all what I'm doing? I'm sorry, 2 pi k, and all of these should say k is an element of the integers. That was fun. Okay, I'm going to let you come back. We'll do a, a separate video on inequalities. So come back and find that one.